How did you get started in this business? How did you know that there was a need for this kind of business? I actually come from a technology background. Before we started this, I was writing software for government agencies um, from small villages all the way up to the U.S. Congress. And one of the software specialties we had is efficiency. So my brother is more involved in the marijuana industry than I am. I'm not really a marijuana user. So um, he took me to a dispensary, showed me around, and I could not believe what I saw. It was a mini mart of marijuana. Um, it was amazing. But I saw that there was a lot of deficiencies in how the businesses were being run, and I thought there could be an opportunity here for us. And if I'm correct, you actually studied operational manuals, I think, from your Domino's, Pizza, FedEx, and also Papa John's. Why did you do that? How did that help you kind of get started? Because how, how medical marijuana uh, delivery was being done back then, and still in a very large way today, is you've got these folks driving around LA with giant tackle boxes full of weed going to their customers. And it's just, it's just not a good business model from a legal perspective or from a logistics perspective. So we wanted to figure out a way to scale it. So um, I downloaded those operations manuals and I looked for the leaders in logistics and figured out how can we reach more patients more quickly, more efficiently. How, do you, how does it work and how do you stay within uh, the limits of the law? Because I know some cities have actually banned uh, the delivery of uh, medical marijuana in the state of California. They have. You know, you have to be very careful with the laws and um, we retain uh, two, three different law firms to make sure that we're constantly compliant. So cities that ban uh, medical marijuana companies are usually banning dispensaries based on zoning laws. Um, we're not a storefront. We're not open to the public. What we are is a legal construct that allows a legal marijuana patient and a legal marijuana cultivator to get together and conduct a transaction. And what Speedweed does and just ensures that that transaction is completely legal, that the product is exactly what you expect it to be, that it's organic, safe, free of pesticides, and we try to make sure that that transaction happens the right way. AJ, just got about 40 seconds here. My understanding is you guys want to go public here. If I'm a potential investor or an investment banker who wants to take you public, do I have to be worried, though, that there are going to be a lot of legal costs uh, going forward because there are cities that are saying, uh-uh, to medical uh, marijuana delivery? I mean, until medical marijuana is federally legal, there's always going to be risk. But I think public opinion has turned, and I think we're moving in that direction. As long as we continue down this path, our goal is to be the most exciting IPO of 2016. All right, and you are growing, correct, just quickly? We're growing very fast. We've doubled our patient base since last year. We're up to about 20,000 members.